hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to do a request video which is to remove the swing arm from the bike here it is uh, in this video you will see how to get it out from the bike how to remove the bearings and basically how to prepare it uh, well this is the whole preparation if you want to send it for powder coating or if you want to paint it so if you want to know how to do all this uh, stick around stay tuned uh, coming right up first thing to be able to remove the swinging arm you have to take off the wheel uh, if you know how to take off the wheel just jump ahead uh, to the timestamp where where i already finished with the wheel but if you don't know how to take the wheel off you gotta take this uh, cutter pin out first it's usually bent up here uh, apologize but i already loosened everything up so i can show you quickly it's usually these little and a bent up so you bend it down and then you can pull it out yeah so that's the first step the second step step is to loose loose this up so you can take it off once you loosen it up right so the next step is to removing the pinch bolt which grips the spindle so it can't come undone uh, the bottom side of the swinging arm has got a thread in it but the, uh, there is also a locking nut which I already took off so you take the locking nut off and then you can unscrew unscrew that one okay so <clears throat> next step is to remove the uh, torque arm for the the brake uh, there is a little R clip going through the the bolt you just pull that off See it like that? It's got a normal washer and a spring washer. Okay. And uh, this this bar locates on the bolt because it's uh, this one is a shoulder bolt. Uh. Okay. Next step, you need to remove the brake, the braking mechanism. Okay. So you spin this the end this uh, wing nut or whatever just keep turning it until it comes off yeah comes off and then just press down the brake pedal while you're pushing this arm so it actually pulls itself out and that's it comes out I'm gonna put put this little pin back on it this this is what makes the brake work Put it back, push it against the spring, and just I'm gonna turn it a couple of turn it a couple of times so it's not coming off. That's it. Right, the next step is that you can actually remove the spindle. Uh, sometimes you might have to give a knock with a mallet from the other side. Um, uh, sometimes you can push it out by hand. Okay. You got this big washer pushing against the brake. Uh, keep that and make sure you know which way you put it, uh, where it was. What I tend to usually, I take this out and I assemble it back together with the uh, castle nut and the washers and everything, so I know which uh, which order it came out. So it makes it easier to put it back together. So the wheel wheel doesn't drop off when once you get the spin lab because it's still on the. Uh, final drive uh, splines so you will have to pull the wheel this way and then drop it down so don't be too scared it can't can't drop down okay I'm gonna catch this just like that put it back on it I'm gonna put it down there I'm gonna put it back together in a minute. So now, as you can see, there's nothing holding it here, but the wheel is still on the splines. So what you gotta do is pull it off the splines. Let's just wiggle it off. That's it. And easy as that. So once you have the wheel out, the next step you need to remove the final drive this uh, is held on by these four bolts 14 mil uh, spanner 
uh, take them off and this basically just slides out but the first uh, we need to take off the the rear shock that's gonna be a eight mil allen key there okay 70 mil dome nut with a washer it might not come off easy try to pull it uh, parallel as much as you can because if you pull too much here it might jam on and then you're gonna struggle take it on taking it off so little steps at a time that's it rear shock is off next one we're gonna remove these bolts so it shouldn't be super tight but I already took it off so mine is not tight yours might be tight maybe you need to use some uh, penetrating oil the drive shaft is actually spring loaded right so as as you're loosening up the the nuts this uh, whole final drive will come apart from the uh, swinging arm and you can see it's like see about five mil pushes back about five mil and now gently just pull it backwards and it slides out and there you have it now I'm gonna put this somewhere safe so basically same thing here uh, 8 mil allen key on the top and the 17 mil bolt on the bottom this one has a spring washer you don't really need to remove this shock if you don't want to because all you gotta do is just pull out the bolt this will just slide down see I'll put it back here that's it now the swing arm is free now we're gonna pop the swing arm pivot studs whatever they are to be able to get out the swing arm pivot uh, bolts or studs you need to take this uh, cover off the frame is designed the way that you can put a little screwdriver on the bottom here and you can pry these out pry this little cover out just like that keep going a little bit up here just gently and then pop it out okay so that comes out and now you have access to the bolt uh, you have to remove this one first which is the left side when you're sitting on a bike and then you remove the other side last you gotta bend these little little ears or whatever they are back because it's holding against the notes it's not not a great job maybe somebody took it out already I don't know it's not it's not really it's not really done nicely so anyway so I'm gonna start with from this angle to bend it back up once it's like that then you can go straight ahead that's it that is a 27 hopefully it's not crazy tight Oh, no, it wasn't. I think it needs to be tighter than that, to be honest. A swing arm shouldn't fall down or anything. Well, I hope it won't. No. See? Nice grease. Still got the grease on it. I'm gonna have a look on the bearings. Okay, let's move on the other side. So, this is same really. Again, going on the bottom here. Let's have a look how bad is it. Uh, I think it's the same size, 27 mil. And then we're just gonna try to crack this as well. This is just a locking nut. 
Right, so what's this? That's out, uh, it's a 5mm Allen key. Ah, 6mm, sorry. This is not tight, I think it's 5 newton meters only because the, the bearing is a tapered bearing. So it doesn't need too much force. Well now, the swing arm will fall. So, what I'm gonna do, uh, because I, I, I camera is right here in my arse and I can't, I can't do the two things together so I'm gonna move you back guys and you can watch it from the distance but basically you just take this this out and then the that will that will come out <coughs> just spinning this bolt out shouldn't drop out really because you still got the universal joint and the rubber boot holding it on the left side and then just pull it backwards remove the torque arm it's just a bolt nothing special just a bolt there and then we're gonna move on to the bearings and take take them out but that's gonna be on the bench so I'm gonna set everything up on the bench and uh, I'll be back so what I tend to do is always put the spacers and everything to the to the bolt what you took out so this is the, <coughs> this was the, which one? The right side. This was the right side. So, just gonna put that there. I'm gonna take the space around. Like that. And I'm gonna put it there. On top of it. So I know that's for that one. And then we're gonna pop the seal out. I did this once already on my bike because this is not oops yeah that was the bearing we're gonna replace it anyway and this this is the seal uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a new one as well of uh, this seal now here comes the tricky part because this bearing bearing housing in there you can't get from the back because there is no hole so for that reason I had to buy a bearing pulling kit box oh big and heavy and I'm going to show you exactly what what the tool you are going to need it comes with a sliding hammer in the kit to get it out and expanding pullers or whatever they are so you put them in there these are expand I show you these are expand out and then you can pull the bearing out. Now we're gonna test it. Uh, this is just a Chinese kit. So I actually had to like uh, grind this a little bit back uh, when I was doing my bike uh, to be able to get it in, expand it out and then <coughs> get the bearing out. So put it in there. Then you screw this in. Okay, so that's grabbed it quite firmly. Then you screw on the sliding hammer and hopefully when you're sliding this back, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. Hopefully. It's gonna be noisy a little bit, so headphone alert. In theory it will pull that bearing housing out. So let's see. It to go so that's how this works let the bearing bearing pulling internal bearing pulling kit fantastic little tool made this job about 50 million times easier than it than it could be without it so well recommended I think the whole kit was about 35 pounds the other side is exactly the same 
pop the spacer out, put it on the put it on the bolt to save it, pop the seal out, and then use the bearing puller to pull the other bearing housing race, whatever it is called, uh, out as a well. So easy with this one. Unbelievable, I love it. Last time I didn't have one, I, I took this one out without a bearing puller because you can get from the universal joint point and you can you, you can get it out but I couldn't get the other one out it's, it's just no way so I bought it oh my god it literally took two minutes and it's like I said it's only a Chinese one but it, it, it works it needed a little bit of a grinding to get the diameter perfect but Come on, I'm not, I'm not bothered, only 30 quid. <laughs> it's such a great tool, oh, I love it. It's made it so much easier. Look, it's done, ready for powder coat. Instead of pissing them out with hours trying to get that bloody bearing out. Fully recommended, only 30 quid. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can find one for yourself. Uh, I'm gonna put the cheap Chinese one, similar what I've got. Pro I bought it years ago, so probably two years ago. Probably I couldn't, I won't be able to find the exact same one, but I will try. And I'm gonna put put the link in the description. Uh, it's such a great tool. And if you probably by now you watched my other video where I used this to change the rocker shaft on the bike so two birds one stone all right that was awesome thank you very much for watching uh, this is how I do this process removing the swing arm get the bearings out I find that uh, tool absolutely uh, priceless uh, for this job also I used it to change the rocker shafts as you can see uh, in my previous videos which you will find over the cards up on the screen right about now. I like explaining everything quite detailed so anybody who's got a little bit of a mechanical knowledge will be able to do the job with the instructions I'm, I'm putting in a video. So sorry it's a little bit longer than a, a normal uh, tutorial would be but I guess if you're here then that's the reason you're here because uh, you can follow it step by step and it's fairly easy to understand it. Uh, I think so. So anyway, there will be a part two where uh, I'm going to put the bearings in, in the swing arm, and then we're going to install the swing arm back into the bike and obviously putting the final drive on. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in part two.